In this Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can mirror an object or a feature or a body or a component around another object even when it's not on a center line. So for example, we have this box with an orb or a sphere on it. And what if we want this to be on the other side? Well, if I created everything on the center line, that'd be real easy. I could just go up to create and then I could select mirror and then I could use this center line or the plane in the middle. But I don't have that. So what I need to do is to construct a midplane. How do I construct a midplane in Fusion 360? Simply go to the construct menu, then select midplane. Fusion 360 says select the planes. So I will select this plane and then this plane. And you can see it gives us a preview of the midplane that we're going to get. I'll press OK. Now I'm ready to mirror this sphere to the other side. So I can go create, mirror. Once again, Fusion asks what do we want to mirror? In this case, bodies, but we could do features, components. Features is very powerful because you can mirror a set of things. So something that is made, then subtracted, then filleted. You can have all those features mirror, which is really powerful. But for now, we'll just do bodies. Now we select what object do we want to mirror. In this case, we want to mirror the sphere. Then it says, what mirror plane? So we want this mirror plane. And then we can also have it join or be a new body. I'm going to leave it as a new body for now and press OK. So now I have a perfectly mirrored object. And what's great is if we go back and change the original object. So if I go back and edit this feature, this is the first one, and say I make it 25 millimeters diameter now. I press OK. Now you can see the other one updates automatically. So it's very powerful to use the mirror command for that type of modeling. Next, let's look at what happens if we don't have such a smooth shape. So here I have a torus and this weird shape that doesn't have a flat side. You see how this side is angled. So how do I get a mirror here? Well, depending on where you want to mirror from, we can pick from this point, this point, and this point. It's, it's kind of up to you to decide where the center of that is, but there's many ways. So let's go ahead and construct a midplane. First, we could make planes through two edges. So that's a very easy way to do things. Or we could make a perpendicular plane uh, or many different ways to do it. it. Just depends on where you want that midpoint to be. You could even just make an offset plane from here. But let's go ahead and construct a plane at an angle. So I'll go ahead and pick my line right here and I'm gonna pick this line. And then I can pick whatever angle that I want. I can have it be any different angle. And I'm just going to go ahead and we'll type 90. And there you can see this plane is 90 degrees. Then I, I can create a midplane. So I'll go construct midplane. Now I can select this plane and this plane and say OK. Now I can create a mirror in Fusion 360 by selecting mirror, then the body, then the plane. And there we go. Now this is mirrored on both sides. So once again, you can use these construction planes to decide where you want your mirror to be. So this is just basic mirroring. In another video, I'll show you how to mirror features and other more complex and advanced ways of mirroring objects in Fusion 360. For now, happy 3D modeling.